another package arrived and let's get straight into it with Kamen Rider Black. Well, here he is, and might I say, he looks absolutely incredible. Let's start off with the head here. Look at that. Look at those eyes, those composite eyes. I'll see if I can get a better shot here. But they're like, they're like layered. They're just, they're so beautiful. It's got a beautiful, nice, like so accurate head sculpt. Beautiful line work, beautiful paint. Lovely antenna here, very soft. If we move down the body here, more perfect sculpt. Look at that organic work here in between all the joints. Just looks incredible. Ulanian, horrific. Even down here at his crotch and at his knees as well. Let's have a close look at that belt too. Oh my gosh, look at that belt. Oh my goodness gracious. Looks so good. Folds in the in the fabric. Oh, creases in like the, the the fur leather. Oh my gosh! Such a beautiful guy. Such a little happy little guy. Now we'll just stand him up straight, and then we'll get into some articulation. Let's just talk about the build quickly for a second as well. Look how it's just a dude in a bug suit, without a doubt. But anyway, let's go into articulation here. First of all, at the head, this a joint at the, I think that's a ball joint neck, then ball joint into the head, which lets it go look down pretty far, very well. You can look back or look up. You can tilt side to side very well as well. Very emotive, very nice. Very cool looking indeed. All right, his arms in here, it's like a like a 360 degree, up at the upper arm there, it's like a 360 degree butterfly joint really, <clears throat> with like a, the organic matter there is like a overlay to like hide all the jointage there, I think. The shoulders, whoop, how are the shoulders on there? They're kind of just like floating, I think on ball joints or little hinges in there, which is nice. They get out of the way and they also tuck in under there. Speaking of which, um, I don't know if you can get a full T pose, but that he can go out to varying degrees. He goes back about that far, forwards that far. Um, there's a bicep swivel, swivel. Of course, full 360 degree around. A deep double jointed elbow. Does he have that sort of newer? Maybe. Ah! Does he have that sort of newer jointage with the. No, I don't think he does. Some of the other SHFs have like a rotation here. And then at the wrist, I think it's just a standard SHF peg, which is a ball and swivel, so you can change how it goes, which is pretty cool. Very nice. At the waist here, we've got. You can go back that far and go d down that far forwards, which is not bad. No extension in the crunch or anything like that. You can tilt side to side and twist and do all that. More organic matter there in the waist, which looks really good. I think this is, I think the whole waist section is like three pieces. With the upper body, the middle section, and then the, the crotch. And the legs here, so like his this whole area down here is squishy and soft. Feels really weird. He's got a butt, little butt, but it's a soft butt, and um, looks really clean. Like it, it's supposed to be one piece, and in right conditions and right lighting and stuff like that, it does just look like one piece. Maybe with like a big um, leather crease in it. But anyway, his legs can kick forwards about that much. There's no. Is that a drop down? No, there's no drop down or anything. You can go back that much, which is great. That's because of the rubber butt. You can go out that far. There's a thigh rotation. A nice double bend. Very nice. And then here at the ankles, it's a, you can see it's like a hinge and swivel. So it can go, it's a really deep cut. 
and he can go forwards and backwards. And he's also got some toe boot as well. Um, let's just get him in a quick pose before we go over accessories. I don't really know what Kamen Rider Black's rider kick looks like, but he can he can come flying at you and kicking. Let's also get him into like a crouching sort of pose. That's not very good, but you get the idea. All right, so for accessories, he just comes with this nice tray. We've got a few sets of hands. We've got like open, splayed, relaxed. We've got like flat palm chopping hands. With like posing hands. Like two handed like finger pointing hands. And also more sort of relaxed. Or you, you could use any of these hands for anything. I mean it also comes with spare antenna on a sprue, which is really nice to see because these are tiny, tiny little things that you can easily break. And I'm scared that I would definitely do that. But he's a very nice, very beautiful little dude. Let's see if we can get another look at those eyes quickly. Yeah, look at those compound eyes. Let's see if we can get another look at those eyes quickly. Look at those bug eyes. He's bugging out, he's absolutely bugging out. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now let's get to a size comparison. I'm just stand him up back there and I will be back. Okay, well, first up for, for comparison time, I think we'll do my other Shinkok Seiho figures. We've got Deno on the right here, and we've got Ixa on the left. I think they will scale really well together. Next, we'll do my other SHF Kamen Riders who aren't Shinkok Seiho. That is... I think that's Excel Dead Heat or Drive Dead Heat. And then the Ichigo redesign from the Ghost movie. He's a bit dusty. They're all. They've all seen better days, but I think they all go pretty well together. We've got a Ranger team of Kamen Riders. And then I guess my two other Kamen Rider figures are model kits. Fives. I mean, 5 for 5 or whatever, and Kabuto. Or whatever. Look at that. Look at my cool Rise Ranger team of Kamen Riders. And then we've got a um, Generation 2 Goku figure. So here's Goku. As you can see, they scale pretty well together. I mean, for different realities. I guess we've got some Lightning Collection. My Billy's legs are kind of bowed because I think he's melting in the sun. That works okay, I guess. Billy is a bit bigger and broader, but not, you know, that's... Those are two real people. You can see that. Amazing Yamaguchi. This is my only Amazing Yamaguchi figure because it's a one from me. I'm just kidding. But, um, he's Deku. He won't stand because he's got spikes on his feet, but... That looks pretty good there, I think. Oh my god, he's caught. And then finally, we'll do Mezco. Which, I don't know if that really... That does also work, I guess. Mezco and a thousand toys. I think he works pretty well with most lines. It's a beautiful, beautiful figure. And I love him so. Just to wrap things up here with some thoughts. Uh, this dude is incredible. Um, this is one of my favorite tokusatsu Kamen Rider Power Ranger designs of all time. Like, I just think it's so iconic. I just have like flashbacks of seeing things like this as a really young kid. But, you know, it's not over designed, it's just perfect. He's got just the right amount of what he needs. We'll have another quick look at the belt if we can. I'm very good at focusing on you. Very beautiful belt. Also with the layered effect. You can see there. His eyes. Those compound eyes. Amazing. I guess to finish things off. This dude is incredible. And I would definitely, definitely recommend if you can get a hold of him. But I know these things skyrocket in price. But if you can... Do it. Pizza.